Hello everyone! It's a cloudy Monday morning in Japan and today I'm gonna tell you the story about the time that I met my family-in-law Brian's family That was fun and funny <laughs> I will tell you about that story but for now let's go to the grocery store and get some strange Japanese food that I love so much Guys, I just want to tell you that when we went to the cashier and we had to pay for our groceries, Brian didn't have cash on him. I did. A thousand. He was like, yeah, you had the money. I had a thousand on me, okay? Yeah, a thousand yen is like ten dollars. I want to tell you about that time that I met Brian's family. By the way, yesterday Brian's dad told, told me that he knows I have a channel. Hello, Jim. But <laughs> that time that I met Brian, Brian's family, I was so nervous. I was going to Colorado and I knew I would stay at Brian's house for like pretty much like a long time. It was the first time that I would talk to them. So Brian went and picked me up at the airport. It was after a very long flight, so I was super tired and I had so many things on my mind. I was worried that they wouldn't understand me. I was worried that I wouldn't understand them. I was worried that they would hate me because I was Italian and because just I'm different. At first I was like, gosh, they will judge me. But then I realized they didn't. Yes, I made some grammar mistakes and they would laugh with me. For example, <laughs> I remember once I was cooking and I asked Brian dad if he had a pen. And he was like, a pen? I was like, yeah, I wanted like the pen, but I asked for a pen. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Jim. Hi, Chris. Hello, Kylie. We'll talk more about that later. Now I'm too busy eating a lot of junk food. What's up? Do you remember that time you met my parents? Yes, I do. Really? Well, guys, Brian's making his new favorite snack, and I'm proud of him because it's a healthy snack. What do you think your parents thought when they met me? Oh, she's sweet. Brian's grandmother, the first thing she told me, she was like, Hi, you have an accent. I was like, Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Babe, you know who I was most afraid to meet in your family? Kylie-san? Yeah, his sister. I don't know why, because like whenever we would talk about his family, he was like, don't worry, my parents are so nice. Don't worry, Chris, my twin, loves you. And I was like, how about Kylie? And he was like, oh, we will see. She's very honest. Guys. But Kylie's still nice. Yeah, she is, but I, I was super nervous because you told me that she will judge you. No. <laughs> yeah. I said Kylie's not like the warmest, like most loving, like, oh my god. Like she's just kind of like laid back, like, what's good? It's your girl. But don't worry guys, she wanted me at her wedding, so I think she likes me. Brian has a thing with stuffed animals. He always wants to play and he saw that little penguin, I love penguins. Look at him, he's so cute! We didn't win this time. You can't always win, right? That, oh my god, there's the Gengar. I love Gengar. Guys, just wait a second, I'm still kind of shocked. You know how I did that? You know how I did that. Look at that cute little face. First try. How's that possible? That's crazy. I thought those things were kind of like a scam before trying with Brian. He wins all the time. You might think that we spent like 30,000, 3,000 yen on that thing. Like, no, that was the first try. That's crazy. Brian, say something. There's this thing and it goes in a circle like really fast and you have to stop it at the perfect time. My background with drumming helped me. First time, I'll take the win. Just another extremely strange place in Tokyo. We're waiting. We found this karaoke, fourth floor. Cat theme karaoke. Maneki Neko. If you watch the other video, you know that I like to make cat sounds. She does. You make the monkey sound. Ooh. In karaoke, you usually have a free bar, like free drinks. You can choose the alcoholic one or the non-alcoholic. I don't drink, so non-alcoholic one. Let's see what we'll get. Shooting stars. 
We decided that we wanted to go to the gym. We're pretty tired. Brian had this very nice idea that he wanted to wake up at 6 a.m. like three days ago and he wanted it to be a sort of um, habit. It lasted one day, but that day was enough that now I'm behind on my sleep and we feel tired, so we decided that we just go to the gym. So we worked out, I actually forgot my shirt So I had my gym pants, but I had this shirt Pretty much this was my outfit I felt like one of those fitness vloggers I was like, with the crop top and the gym pants And I was like, we're going home We will have dinner, we will take a shower We will edit and we'll call it a day Ryan, last words Subscribe to the vlog Bye Wait, I just remember another time I told Brian's twin that his cat beat me. <laughs> I wanted to say bit, but my Italian accent, I was like, your cat beat me. And it was, like, it was so confusing. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what happened? He bit me. I learned my lesson.